Hello, I am Charles Denler. I am a professor at the School of Music. I've been with uh, CCU for about nine years, and I coordinate our composition program, our music media and marketing program, and our contemporary music minor. I had been praying for many years. I was approached by various universities and I had been lecturing around the country about how do musicians make a living? How do they graduate with a degree in music and not have it become a hobby, but actually make a living? And that's something I became very passionate about. And so I started praying regarding how I could get involved in higher education, how I could help students understand the importance of the business aspects. Uh, regarding uh, music and production and promotion and getting your, your, all of your talents out there. I was approached by the Dean of the School of Music, uh, Dean Taylor, uh, and he asked if I would start a composition program here. And then that turned into a sort of a second career because I'm still a composer. I still work on uh, film and television programs. It's been a, a wonderful synergy. Uh, working with college students and being able to sort of share what I'm doing in the real world and bring that into their curricular experience here at Colorado Christian University. Some of these students are, are working professionally in the field, uh, engineering for live sound. Some of my composers uh, have been writing music for video games and um, orchestrating uh, for various clients in the film and music industry. But it takes a long time to develop sort of your, your life voice and where you're going to be going uh, with your career. And so I always encourage people, don't, don't be afraid of the transitions that happen and the various careers that happen along the way because they're all building toward something. They're all going to equal something when they all sort of come together and mesh over time. One thing that's wonderful about the Armstrong Center is it is being designed specifically for the purpose of creating and exploring music and performing music. The, the gear that we're buying for, for recording and for engineering and for mixing is specifically geared toward that. And I find that exciting because it allows us to be cutting edge, but it also allows us to be purposeful. When we walk into that room, whether it's a recording space, whether it's a computer lab, or into the performance arena, it was truly designed for that purpose. And that is really exciting. The level of professionalism is going to go up. When you treat somebody as a professional and you put them in an environment that feels professional, they begin to act professional. It raises the bar. Uh, when you treat someone as a professional and you create a professional environment, they start to automatically rise up to that situation. And I think what we're going to see is we're going to see higher levels of musicianship, higher levels of recording than ever before during performances. They're going to be tighter, they're going to be stronger, they're going to be more emotional, they're going to be more pointed because we're, they're, they're going to feel like professionals walking in that door. One of my hopes is that the Armstrong Center is going to become uh, a place where this reputation develops that the musicians, the engineers, the artistic endeavors that are coming out of the Armstrong Center are cutting edge, they're beyond what we're hearing in other circles. For instance, in the, the film world, when we find out it's a Christian film that's been made by Christians, all of a sudden, the standards in our mind, all of a sudden, our expectations kind of sink. Like, oh, it's, it's a Christian film. It's a, it's a Christian artist. It's a Christian album. And that should not be. I feel like, as Christians, we're not second best. We are, through God's power and His empowerment, we are walking that line to be the best, to be the most excellent to be the musicians who are on the center stage and who are reaching the world for Christ and not sort of secondary hangouts that are just sort of, well, we're just sort of, we're gonna make it happen. We're gonna make it work and, and God will sort of fill in the gaps. No, no longer, no, no. It is, we are on that cutting edge of the blade. We are the ones setting the standard.